And um, Lasse, I was wondering, uh, can you tell us a little bit about uh, the history behind and before uh, accepting this uh, commission? Well, I had a commission from <coughs> Trondheim to Lisna, which I was very happy to have. And once uh, you have got somebody that really wants to have your music, uh, things start to work. So it's a process starting. And so uh, I made different sketches. But then at a certain time, I was sitting in a hut uh, for myself because I had to finish another piece very quickly. And when I took a break, then and actually, I listened to listen to some of Brahms' music, and I thought, "Okay, that's very fine." Uh, I mean, hello, Johannes, you've done a great job. Then um, suddenly, I mean, the music started to play in my mind, and um, that was the beginning of this piece. So I took a piece of uh, note paper and jotted down, like stenographically, you know, how this music proceeded, and. Uh, and of course that's completely illegible for anybody else and myself, but it was a kind of kinetic um, sketch of the piece. And also, so I started to reflect, well, what, what, what is this saying? What, what is this about? And for example, one of these textures was an, a, a note that is sustained, but with some like small grains of dust uh, strewn upon it. So, for me, that is became a kind of symbol of, let's say, as something is lasting in life, something is just transient, it goes away. Um, and uh, what was remarkable in the, my vision of this is the first movement then, of, of that movement was that it was a sudden break and a very luminous chord shines through. And so it's like a crack in, in, in the whole piece where something quite different and very luminous shows itself and that eventually breaks through in the end of the piece when all that other stuff which is, can be pretty hectic and emotional in, in different ways suddenly uh, explodes and fades away and, and what is then left is that Kind of luminous sonority. So that's that's how the first movement actually was yeah. conceived. You mentioned that the earlier um, commission named Sprung. Uh, is there, and you know our orchestra, is there a connection between Sprung and the Shadow's Dream somehow? Yes, in fact, there is. Uh, so Sprung was an, a piece which was greatly inspired by folk music and especially by the Harding Fele tradition in, uh, in Norway. We had uh, Elbjörg and Ragnhild Hemsing who were the soloists. And then uh, this chord I mentioned, which is this kind of luminous chord, is actually came as a result of me um, fiddling a little bit around, as I say, <laughs> <laughs> with, with um, the tuning of the Harding fiddle and the resonance strings of the Harding fiddle. And that's how I think very much how this chord came to me. And so that one chord is a link to, to the other piece. Ah. And can I ask, uh, is there anything about the orchestra, the sound of the, the style of the orchestra? which has uh, given you any direction of the piece? No, uh, uh, perhaps not. But what I wanted to do with this um, uh, piece was to really give the musicians um, opportunity to show their capability and to kind of act in a musician-like way. And uh, the other piece was, was a more, you know, a solo concert or a double concert. So. So in this case, I, I wanted to also make a piece that could give the musicians um, opportunity to show their, their capabilities. Uh, and so also the piece is conceived in a much more linear way than I often do. Often I have a very chordal you know, substance in my music here. I, I actually wrote primarily lines. Um, and um, that also has... Uh, given this piece its particular sonority, I think. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, I must say we are very proud about this uh, piece uh, and uh, that you accepted the commission some years ago. It was premiered during the Trondheim Chair Music Festival in 2019. And uh, now we are uh, performing it actually for the second time. There has been uh, some changes in between and we have also now recorded this final version, which is going to be um, pre um, released also during the same time of the Bergen, uh, Bergen performance. What about the, the title, Shadow's Dream? Well, uh, as I say, uh, I had this feeling that something in this piece was about relationship between uh, what passes in life. So what, I mean, I come to the age now that I start thinking of these things, really. And so, okay, something lasts, something uh, doesn't last. So there is dust and, let's say, organic growth, or there is shadow and there is light. So light is something active and lasting. Shadow is only the lack of light and so what we really do seek I think in our life is to be uh, to, to absorb that light which has a lasting quality rather than to be lost in shadow and this, this is then I actually found a poem I remembered by Pindaros who was a Greek poet li living like uh, 500 years before uh, our era, so 2,500, 600 years ago. Yeah. And he had this uh, wondrous po pro poem in which he says, you know, man is like a, what is it, a, a, a ephemeral. Uh, what is it? What it is not? It is a shadow of a dream, he says. But when the light from above shines, then his life will be pleasant and, and so on. And so I eventually chose that poem to be the motto of the piece. Yeah. Uh, since this, this uh, fantastic piece, in my opinion, has been performed only once, and this is the second chance to hear it, um, what as a first-time listener, uh, would you give any uh, any ideas about how, how to what to observe in this uh, piece, this two-movement piece? Generally, when it comes to new music, uh, I think it is important for the listener to not come with too many kind of uh, commissions to what one wants the music to be. First of all, one must kind of say, okay, what is this? Uh, one kind of say, I want to have this feeling, I am accustomed to experience it, so on and so You must be willing to say, okay, what, what is given here uniquely in this situation? And then I think uh, just this open, attentive attitude will be uh, sufficient to, uh, to see what unfolds in the music. And I'm very careful to say, okay, there is a track you can follow through the piece. Uh, for example, in the second movement, I start with a very powerful unison, which seems like a theme. Now, the theme disappears, although the sonority of it remains throughout the piece, but after a kind of culminate, culminating section, then actually the theme comes in different accompanies, accompaniments again. And so that is a kind of arch form of the piece. Uh, and so I think, and I actually, I, having heard the piece first time played in Trondheim a couple of years ago, I decided also to uh, make revisions of the score in order to make the overall form of the piece much clearer and simpler in a way. I limit, eliminated a lot of uh, things and uh, changed proportions so that in fact this shall be possible to to get an overall idea also having followed, you know, from moment to moment what, what uh, happens in the piece. I always found in your music, you have written, of course, very 
different styles and different uh, instrumentations, but uh, I always found this basic, uh, almost uh, ecstatic uh, way of expressing. There's a, there's a certain joy in your music, I always found. It's, it's not uh, superficial, but when it comes to the, to the conclusion, there's, there's this ecstatic joy, which is, I find very inspiring as a performer to connect to. Uh, it's probably not so easy for you to describe it, but this is one of the features in your music I, I strongly connect to, somehow. Yeah, I guess I'm um, I'm a hopeless enthusiast, <laughs> 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 and I've been that from early age. Uh, mm. But uh, well, I shall not go into self-biography here, but, <laughs> but I, I, I have this obsession to share my enthusiasms, uh, although uh, I have observed that it doesn't mean everybody else is enthusiastic about what I am enthusiastic about. Um, but after all then, why do we seek music? I mean, we, I think we are, we are seeking it for find a source of life and joy at some level, at some degree of satisfaction. Uh, so, so I think, uh, I think that that's why we are seeking music. And I find also that quality being present in the great classical tradition of European music. Thank you, Lasse, for sharing your time with us today. And on uh, behalf of the Trondheim Solists, we are very much looking forward to giving the second performance of your uh, Shadow Stream in Bergen. And um, we hope to see you there.